there! My name is Vex, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. In the last episode, I don't know, man, it's been a long time since I actually recorded this game. Uh, plan was to do some Resident Evil 7, but there are a lot of stipulations with recording that game, which I will go over in a future episode. Not sure when it's gonna come out. Uh, it's... Recording didn't go as planned with that game, but nevertheless, we're back here in... Final Fantasy 9, and uh, I th believe we're trying to find, yes, we're trying to find Kuja's secret base, uh, at the base of one of these sand, quicksand things, which is interesting because this is an old game, and you can see the textures are sort of just mirrored, like, look at that, look at the sand, like, they're just, like, like little, um, equilateral, right? Wait, no, isosceles? Equilateral is when all the angles are, or all the sides are the same. Isosceles is where... One is shorter than the other two, right? I don't know. Why am I talking about triangle lengths? Um, yes, but anyways, look, it's like one little texture, and it's like just put around in a, in a sort of octagon or something. Uh, anyways, yes, we need to go down one of these, I believe, to find Kuja's secret lair, or maybe through it? I don't remember exactly, but either way, we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's uh, try going through it and see if that works. I think we have to go... We have to allow ourselves to be sucked in. Uh, in order to get to Kuja's secret lair. I'm not exactly 100% sure, though, so we shall see. But first, we've got a battle on our hands. Let's see what we've got. Another giant sandworm. Okay, we'll kill these and we'll start switching through, or skipping through all the battles that we already know. Uh, I've been reading the comments, and someone has said that we kind of didn't want Garnet in the part... Oh, why... Uh forgot that we're actually curing with Garnet at this point in time. That we don't actually want Garnet in the party right now because she is, um... Well, her mind's on other things, and she can't always cast things. And I just did it again, dang it. I literally just attacked him again, but that's okay. She's only healing him around 200 each time. I, I'm pretty sure he's gonna die here. Yes, there we go. I think we're also gonna grind out something, and I don't think we actually got to that point. Let's see where everybody is right now. Maybe to a certain level? 25, 21, 18. Oh, I think I was going to grind out Freya because she's too low. Um, and she's going to be getting rapid EXP from all of these battles that are out of her depth. Okay, uh, let's see. There doesn't seem to be anything past here. And yeah, we can't even go anywhere. Ooh, look at that. What is that? You guys see that little alcove over there? Okay, let's try that out. That looks right. Although... Doesn't look like we can actually access that thing. Okay, just another landworm there. We actually need to heal Freya, though. She's not doing too well. Let's cure her on up. Yeah, her HP is super duper low. Everybody's HP is actually super duper low. Okay, there we go. Um, yes, let's see if this is a thing that we can enter. No, it's just nothing? There's a random rock here missing out of this giant mountain? I, oh, wait, and what's that? Oh, that must be my ship. That little blue dot over there uh, to the east on the map. Okay, well, yes, then I think we do need to jump into one of these sandstorms or one of these um, 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 quicksand thingamajiggers. I don't know exactly what to call these things, these pits, these quicksand pits. So, by process of deduction, I would imagine that the first one's not going to be the one that we want. So, I would imagine it's going to be the second, third, or fourth. I would say most likely would be the third. Uh, yeah, because it's too obvious to put it as the first, too obvious to put it as the last. That leaves the second two, and three is just a more attractive number than two. It's just science. Okay, another giant landworm there. Getting some level ups. That's always nice. Now, let us head into one of these. Should we save? I think we should save. I think we should also use a tent. Because we do have ten, and that's quite a lot, and it's going to be a challenge to get through all ten. If we make a beeline for it. Okay, thank you, Magwo. Um, before you leave, my little Moogle friend, I need you to save my game if you would be so kind. Yes, that is quite all right. We can overwrite that file. Okay, that's going to be it, Magwo. I appreciate it, man. See you later, alligator. All right, let's try this one. Oh, I was thinking, okay, if we were wrong, some of them were probably going to be encounters. Looks like that's the case. Let's see what we have here. Probably going to be a unique monster, or at least something new. Okay, I was, uh, in the back of my mind, I was thinking it was going to be one of these things, which we fought out of a sand pit earlier on. Okay, what are these things called? Antlions, that's right, or antlions. Uh, we need to remember to hit with dagger someone on our party. I can't see their health, though, so let's see what this guy does. Counter horn. 
And he hits Zidane for a lot, it looked like. Wow, 756. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, I think we should just be able to destroy this thing, though. Very fast. Uh-oh. Okay, the Landworms use Sandstorm, too. And they're pretty uh, strong. That particular attack is... Oh, my God. As you can see, holy crap. Okay. Well, at least Steiner's in a trance, I suppose. But this thing has to be close to death. I mean, we're going on the offensive now. No point even, even in even trying to heal. Yeah, okay, so they don't have much health. See, that's the thing I don't like about the trance system, is that it could just be totally wasted like that, you know? It's unfortunate. Okay, so this one is not correct, or is it correct? Because we can still enter. Um, let's try Mogwo again. Hello, little buddy. I'm gonna need a tent here. My whole party is on the verge of death. Thank you so much, my little Moogle friend. Appreciate it. Um, let's try this again, I guess? Okay, so if it's the same fight, I'm assuming. But that means we could just do this over and over and grind, I suppose, right? Is it an alien? Yes, it is. I will see you guys in a second. This stupid fight is not giving us anything, so we cannot, in fact, grind. And I don't know what just happened, but I used the tent, didn't I? Okay, well, we'll test this out right now. You can see my party. They're all, again, on the on the brink of death. And also, we've got a couple of darknesses. So, we did just use a tent, didn't we? I need a tent. We've got eight remaining. Yeah, that means we used two. And it didn't heal my party, like, all the way. That's what tents are supposed to do, aren't they? Uh, thank you, Mogwo. Yeah, what, what is that? What is that? Okay, we need some eye drops. And then we need to use Garnet. It looks like it at least fully healed our magic, but I thought tents are supposed to fully heal everything. Okay, cures don't cost that much, so we can fully do that to our party. Um, let's look at tent. What in the world? Restores HP and MP. If you ask a save move, will he restore everyone's HP and MP? Okay, I guess it doesn't do everything? Well, that's interesting. All right, well, by process of elimination, we just have to keep going. Oh, it was the last one. Wow. Okay. That's surprising. <laughs> I knew you'd come. Everything is going according to plan. That was a weird laugh, I know. I'm sorry. Zidane! Ribbit, wake, wake up! Uh, uh. Sid, where the heck are we? Good question, Ribbit. I wish I knew. After I fell into the quicksand, everything went dark. That's all I can remember. Me too, Ribbit. When I woke up, Ribbit, I was in this room. Oh yeah, where is everyone? I don't know, Ribbit. I hope they're alright. So you're finally awake. That voice. It's Kuja. I'm so happy to see you again. You rat bastard, where are my friends? My, my. Aren't we feisty today? No need to worry about them. They're in rooms not unlike yours. Oh yes, by the way, I should probably enlighten you as to your current situation. Yikes! I'm sure that even your feeble mind can grasp what would happen if you were to take that plunge. <laughs> Kuja, you're dead! Oh dear, was it something I said? Either way, now that you're aware of your predicament, I'd like you to do a tiny little favor for me. I'll let your friends live if you say yes. Damn it! I have no choice! Damn it, I don't have a choice! Very good. You've chosen wisely. First, step outside. Hey, Sid, I need you to look after the others. Fine, Ribbit. I won't let you down. And you, Ribbit, you come back safe. Yeah, I will. See ya. Okay, well, we don't have any further instructions. Let's talk to Sid real quick. Leave this to me! Okay. Um... I imagine we can't enter any of these doors. Also, the architecture looks familiar. Oh, no, I was going to say it. It seems to be of, uh, it looks like the Invincible or whatever that giant, um, deity was with the eyeball 
which I guess is a ship also. Uh, but no, of course, this is in the ground. This is in the sand. Although we blacked out. I'm not sure. We'll see. Not these guys again. Stand between the two black mages. Okay. Welcome to my humble abode. Just cut to the chase and tell me what the hell you want. My, we're upset, aren't we? Well, this is your errand. I want you to go somewhere and bring something back for me. So tell me what it is already, you demon! I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Surely you haven't forgotten that I hold your friends' lives in my hands. <sighs> I'm going to send you to a place called... Oilvert. Hmm. How the hell are we going to pronounce that from now on? Oilvert? I guess so. That's That doesn't feel right to say, but... Where's that? Oilvert is south of the Seaways Canyon on the Forgotten Continent. It really isn't my kind of place. What do you mean by that? You see, there's an anti-magic barrier around the place, and I want to send you, and I want to send you because you're too stupid to use magic. Once there, I want you to retrieve the Gulag Stone for me. What do you say? Isn't it a simple task? I'll even send you on my luxury cruise ship so you won't have to worry about transportation. Perhaps it's too much for you. I'd better send you with three of your friends just to be safe. Besides, nobody likes to fight against himself. <laughs> Never mind. Speak their names when you've chosen your partners. Okay, we're gonna... Well, you know, Garnet is kind of messing up here and there. But I want to start leveling up my endgame party. So, Garnet is number two in the back line. Nope, can't adjust that. Steiner is number three. And Freya is number four. I want Steiner, Freya, and Dagger. Fine. I shall summon them. Steiner. Freya. And Dagger. Step through the door. Proceed to the center of the platform. Spare me the emotional reunion scene, please. Now. Go stand with your friends. You'd better keep your promise, Kuja. Of course, you need worry one bit. <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. Okay. Well, it's interesting that he lets you choose who you'd pick. Oh no! Battles already? Uh, considering most people are probably going to pick the same people they had while searching for Kuja, considering that's after the point where you could choose your own party. But, anyways, what is this thing? Well, wow, okay. It's an interesting design. Hi there, what's your name? Ogre. Very nice name. Trouble Knife does 300 damage to Zane. We'll whack him with Garnet's stick. I'm not sure what the uh, little sad face is there. I don't know what status effect that is. Let's see if it affects our damage. Ah, no. Still dies quite easily. Okay, so let's compare this experience to the Antlion experience, which was, which was like 100. Yeah, that's what I thought. So you can't grind on those uh, Antlions. You won't get anything, pretty much. Okay. Uh, well, let's continue since we're in random battle mode. Um, let's go this way. We need the luxury cruise ship. I'm... If it's over here, it looks like it is. I'm surprised that he puts it in a cave full of monsters. Whoa! That must be the Hildegarded one! Put an E at the end of that one. 
Okay, guess we can't jump over to it. Any more monsters? Come on, this is your last chance! That was an interesting- that was a really interesting design though, that ogre. Hello there. I was told to not- I was told not to go any farther. Alright man, well you can make your own choices, you know? You're your own person, you're your own black mage- Ooh! Oh, can we fly this thing? I guess not. Okay. Well, eventually I imagine we will get an airship. I actually don't know, so that's not a spoiler. I'm just assuming we will get an airship. I mean, look at this. They have the animation ready for a flying airship. Yeah. Like, in Final Fantasy VII, you start out with a car, I think. There's, like, a whole bunch of different vehicles, but eventually you do end up with an airship. So, I'm assuming this is the same sort of situation. Hey, can we tr really trust Kuja? Hey, can we really trust Kuja? Hey! Say something! They will not answer to you. Respond to our orders only, they do. Well, why, you backstabbing bozos? Those are slanderous words. Worst lies I have never heard. You needn't concern yourself with such things. Or an end to your friends' lives we shall bring. Damn it! The black mages were originally designed just to oppress. But a strong sense of self the black waltzes came to possess. Always obey us, these mages do, because a strong ego they have, they have not. They have not. These mass-produced ones are to break once we're through with their lives. Other purpose than war, they have not. They have grown attached to life, yet they'll soon disappear. Hilarious! Nothing but toys are they here. I don't think you guys are any different. What? Rubbish! You say that the black mages have no souls, but you guys are pawns just like them. Am I right or what? You won't be talking so big once we're done with you. Regret those words you will. Well, let's just take it easy until we arrive. Drive safe, all right? Ooh, Zidane just made those two little trolls question their existence. I like it. All right, Hildegard, where are we going? Interesting front there. It looks like a fish. It looks like a winged fish. Like a flounder. Like a, like a mix between a flounder and a swordfish or something. I am not controlling this, by the way, for anyone wondering. The airship is moving of its own volition. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I forget exactly where we need to go, but there's a Coos Marsh. Maybe we should hit that up first. Where are you going? You need to go south. Finish the mission, then you can board. Anything you need, I sell. Oh, cool. Uh, let's see. Potions are kind of useless. High potions, though. How much money do we have? 31,000. Let's buy six high potions. Um... Don't need much of this. Vaccine. What's that? What's that for? It cures virus. I'm not sure what a virus is or what it looks like or what it does, but we'll buy some. Okay, I think we're good other than that. Alright, we need to go south. So, south would be... I mean, that's north, right? So, this is south? Correct? Yeah. Yeah, it's pointing this way anyways. Okay, uh, let's actually head to the Cruise Marsh real quick. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, before we end this episode, um, let's see, what was affecting... What is affecting Zidane here? Um, various status abnormalities. Okay, that's good. Darkness, no. Venom, poison, no. Silence, no. Petrify, gradual, petrify, no. Trouble? Could be trouble. Trouble. Okay, I'm not sure what trouble does, but that's the little sign there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we will check out Clues Marsh. I don't think anything's going to happen in there, but uh, immediately we will turn around and head south in order to find, well, something. Oil Burt, Oilville, something like that. Don't remember exactly what it's called. Nevertheless, I will see you guys there. Thanks so much for watching again, and bye-bye.